Yeah, Julia right now, her title is in trouble. Is Please. It done? Please. Bang. She got it. She got it. Oh. 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 One, two, three. Oh, wow. Chuck and Cheese, here we go. <laughs> and Coming through to the resident team. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to after news so like let's get to the ladies now man Woo, ooh, man now this one was interesting this one was interesting okay um uh, i said it earlier man this was going to be the most important tbs title defense to date and the reason why i said it was going to be very important because the person who wins this match was going to face mercedes monet in her first match Back in the ring in almost a year in her first match in AEW at Double Enough the next month for the TBS Championship. So, um, whoever won, it was going to be very important. Now, let's go over how this whole thing went. So, first we saw Chris Statlander come out in. Uh, Willow Nightingale said she doesn't need her help. Stokely Hathaway was uh, broadcast. You know, he was with the commentators again. Uh, but Chris Statlander went back to the back. And so... It's just, it's, it's, it's very interesting. Um, not so much of that part, but you wanted to know if anybody was going to help anybody. Is anybody going to help Willow? Anybody going to help Julia Hart? Mercedes Monet was there looking on. They showed her at a backstage monitor. So let's just pick up from that part right there where she was looking at the back. This is like right in the middle of the match. Willow came back with a sleeper that caused Hart to drop to the mat, right? Hart threw some kicks at Willow to break the hole, but then Willow hit a spine buster for a two count. Willow went for a second rope drop kick, but Hart avoided it. Hart applied a heartless submission, submission finisher, and anytime she, she locks that in, you think it's going to be it. But Willow actually powered up and ended up sitting on her and getting a two count. And by the way, the crowd was totally on Willow's side. Um, they were totally rooted for Willow. Willow's family was ringside, by the way, as well. She's not from St. Louis, I don't believe, but her family was there. Part to join her in the moment. Uh, but Willow powered up and ended up sitting on her and getting a two count, like I was saying. Hart threw a couple of light super kicks and then Willow fired back and charged her in the corner. But Hart, uh, put her feet up and then stumped Willow to the mat. Hart went for a top rope moonsault, but Willow, uh, put her feet up. Willow clothesline Hart and then lowered her straps on her gear. Uh, Willow hit the uh, Dr. Bomb and then scored the clean pin, uh, beating Julia Hart in six minutes to win. So that was all she wrote for Julia Hart. And we have a new TBS champion, and it is Willow Nightingale who gets her first title in AEW. Congratulations to Willow Nightingale. Long overdue for her because I felt like Willow Nightingale could have got a title last year. Um... She's had a lot of momentum. She's like the female version of Swerve Strickland. Because I feel like the crowd has been behind Willow since last year. And I'm like, man, you got someone right now, Willow Nightingale, who's over with the crowd. Give her, give us some type of title. At least the TBS. You know what I mean? So I'm glad she finally got it. What a night. We got Willow with it. With it. She's not the first black T TBS title because, you know, Jay, Jay Cargo had it last year and the year before that. Swerve won later in the night. So it's great to see them two uh, getting, uh, for the title changes. Uh, Young Bucks got the other title change. Because Jericho got the FTW title. So great night for um, if you wanted to see championships to, um, change hands. Uh, this is the night to... to, to to watch a wrestling show, man. But uh, I said that after the match, Hathaway uh, Statlander joined Willow in the ring and hugged her uh, before raising her arms. And then that's when CEO, we're going to talk about her in the next video, CEO came out and made her interest, man. Um, We'll talk about that in the next video. So let's go over the poll. I did a poll for this match to see how this went. Let's see how many votes we had. I think we came up like five. Almost 500 votes short of this. So we're at 473 votes. 24 likes. And I put this up late. I think I, I think I I think when I put this up, it might have been when the match, either when the match was happening or right after the match ended. So a lot of y'all already knew who. I think that kind of influenced this poll quite a bit because normally Julia Hart probably be up like at least 70 80% in a poll. But 
Willow Nightingale almost 50 percent, almost almost stole it from Julia, uh, 53 to 47. So I don't I, like I said because I put it up so late, you know I, I don't know I can't get a real gauge for how you guys would have voted. So thank y'all for voting though. Um, so let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what to expect in the next video for Mercedes Monet and Will Nightgate, but I just want to get my close thoughts on it just for those of y'all that don't go to that video. So I'm gonna get my close thoughts on this. So Will and I get a TBS champion? I do wonder. By the way, this match it wasn't one of Julia Hart's best matches, but I thought it was solid. I thought it was solid. You know, Julia Hart has had some classics. You know, Chris, hers, Chris, that 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 match at Wrestle Dream last year still. That might still be Julia Hart's best match. <laughs> that might still be her best match. Um. The match she had at Revolution was pretty good, too. Uh, but, yeah, Julia Hart, her title reign could have been a little better. But I do believe she was a good champion. And I believe she's going to be an even better champion next time around. I don't know if she's getting the TBS title again or if she's just going to go elevate herself to the Women's Championship. Um, but Julia Hart should team up with Sky Blue. And it's time for Tony Khan to bring out those tag team titles, bro. The women need tag team titles. And and Sky Blue and Julia Hart should be the first tag team champions. Um, women's tag team champions. I hope to see, I hope going forward now, now that Julia Hart isn't tied to the TBS title, we see a lot more things, a lot more raising hell from her and Sky Blue together. And uh I can only hope, like I said, that they get that they do these tag team titles. Right now, it's the perfect time to unleash those tag team titles, man. Because you got a division. You got plenty of female wrestlers that ain't doing shit right now that could be tag teams. I mean, come on. Like, let's let's do this, man. Willow Nightingale, congratulations to her, man. Long time coming for her. I just wonder how long she's going to be champion because I know Mercedes Monet is probably going to get this title. That's the only bad thing about her getting it right now is the timing might not be good for Willow. You know, so we'll see what happens, man. We'll get to what happens going forward in the next video, man. Go ahead and give me your thoughts on this. Thanks for voting in the poll, too. Give this video a like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for voting. I mean, thank y'all for watching and voting and commenting if y'all do. Thank y'all for doing all that after news tonight.